This conference will now be recorded. Anybody here for the first time? Because today we'll be starting the LWC. So anybody here for the first time? Anyone? Yes. Okay. So you are for the first time. You are new. Okay. So one, two. Two people or one? Did I hurt two or one? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone for the one. first time with me here? Yes, I'm also first time here. Okay, that's good. Seeing of us. Anyone else joining for the first time? No, only two people because I was told that three or four will be there. I should have three names joining for the first time. I heard only two. I'm still missing one or two more person here. Now, right. For the first time, people, have you completed lightning? Yes or no? Yes. Have, you're done with your lightning classes. Yeah. Are you completely aware how the lightning component, lightning application, lightning event, Right, Aura methods, dynamic components are created. If yes, you are in the right class. If no, please disconnect immediately. You are not in the right place. You cannot join in LWC without lightning base. I'm not going to teach you events here. I'm not going to teach you, you know, what is an application event, what is a component event, what is an Aura method, how to use an Aura method. I'm not going to display or I'm not going to show you how to use a lightning data service, right? How to go ahead and write a force program, how to create a dynamic component, how to create an interfaces. No, not at all. This all should have been covered in your lightning aura classes. If you are here without a lightning or aura classes, you are absolutely 100% in a wrong place. Not even 1% you're in a correct place. Please join those whoever is joining for the first time. People who are not continuing with me from Aura to here, I will request them to please make sure that you complete your Lightning course first and then join LWC. Otherwise, this whole LWC course will be bounce and super bounce. Not even bounce. At least when ball bounce, you'll be able to see the ball. Here, you will not be able to see the ball also. It will bounce in such a high level. People who are already in lightning, for them it will be bouncing. So anybody without a lightning background? Anyone? Right? Perfect. Looks like that everybody is with a lightning background then. Course. This will be an LWC course. Lightning Web Component development 100% programming right no settings no configuration 100% coding right duration i'm giving you a complete synopsis first duration it will take one and a half month one month Two weeks. It will take almost one and a half month. Remember that from now. Approximately six weekends. Six to eight. Two months also. Depends on the speed, depends on the way you understand. Six to eight weekends. When I say eight weekends, it's two months. Rupam, yes, it's a separate right the way you have seen classic then you came to lightning completely different this will be completely different as if you're something as if you're learning something new one month two weeks classes weekends only saturdays and sundays there is no regular classes saturday your time is at 8 30 
8.30 a.m. to 09.00 a.m. One and a half hour. Sunday, 09.30 to 8.30, 30, 9.30, 10.30, 10.30, 11.30. Two hours class. Saturday, one and a half hour. Sunday, two hours. Total three and a half hours during the weekend. Mode, only online. No offline mode. Only online. Right? Trainer, it'll be me. Rupa. Right? I'll be the trainer. Now, when I say Rupam. People who are old, they know me. People, people who are new, they don't know me. Or maybe for the first time you're with me. Or maybe you might have attended my class in the past and now you're joining for LWC. Let me tell you one fact. Udemy is copying my videos. In market, any other trainer teaching LWC are teaching my videos. They're taking the videos from me from hook and crook, right? Including reputed company like Udemy, right? There's a person called Vishwanathan in Udemy who is, you know, posting a video. All are my videos. Some videos have my voice. Everybody recognize my voice. They have not even changed my voice because see, when I'm recording this class, my name, right, right. My photo is not visible anywhere. So Udemy has copied my videos. I've already raised the copyright issues with them. Other institute trainers are taking my videos and from there they're taking the example and teaching. So you want to learn from the horse mouth, whether you want to learn from the donkey's mouth, it's your wish. Now you can, right? I don't want to comment much more on horse and donkey so you can understand, right? The call is getting recorded. so. Right? So I am the trainer who is working in a real time environment, and my life is lightning, integration, and LWC. Right? I'm not a dummy trainer that who takes morning and evening and, you know, four batch in the morning, five batches in the evening, or three batch in the evening. God only knows when who will go to office. So here I'm not. Right? So I'll be your trainer. Right? What does this course cover? What is the learning path? Learning path, which I've been drawing every time. Zero. You should have started your career with consulting. Then admin. Then development. Then integration. Then lightning. Then LWC and you are 100%. This is the sales force learning path, learning curve. If you try to jump this track here and there, you might be very intelligent, right? No, Rupam, I don't need admin. I'll jump to development, even though wrong. You are in a very wrong conception. Learning has a particular path, and you have to follow that. Whether you like it, you don't like it. You start with ABC. That's it. That is how the learning is started. Right? So learning has a prescribed path. That is the reason I'm telling you without lightning. If you're here, then you're in a wrong place. You should have completed lightning. Right? Perfect. What you're learning in this course. Right? Offering. What are you learning in this course? I'm not here to write the complete syllabus sheet, right? But definitely I can give you a lot of synopsis. What you're going to cover here, here in Lightning, LWC. First, LWC infrastructure. What are the things that I can, I need to build an LWC? Because with a Salesforce, you cannot build LWC. You, with a developer console, you cannot write an LWC program. Within the Salesforce, you don't have an option. So you need to know what are the infrastructure that I need to support LWC components. LWC bundle. 
they are completely different from your lightning bundle bundle structure certain structure you have to create they don't come by default the way in a lightning component component controller right helper style right all these things keep automatically comes in here they don't it doesn't many of them you have to create by yourself so that's that's what you have to see next lightning lwc data types some basics first one classes today and tomorrow class will be basic that's it data types what are the different data types available how do you declare zero four wire or i can say that right at the rate wire what are the different properties you will run at the rate wire at the rate track right at the rate api decorators decorators you'll run, learn all the all the decorators zero five with me you will run imperations imperation services lwc imperation services new new word you're hearing right and these are what it is used lwc data interactions lwc lds lwc lightning data service i will not say lwc lds i will say lwcds lightning web component data services lwcds 07 right i'm just giving you the overview not the complete syllabus sheet right lwc event they are completely different completely different in this you will learn both declaratively and programmatically both declaratively and programmatically both the events you'll learn there is nothing called component event application event in lwc this concept it's not at all there right rupam then what right so functions wire a function wire a property wire a function property you'll also learn how to wire a property with me next 09 what else are we going to learn Rupa? you are going to learn with me right how to go ahead and use right let me go ahead right singleton pub shop pub sub singleton s-i-n-g-l-e-t-o-n singleton you are also going to learn with me lms lightning messaging service lightning messaging service 11 right lightning lwc just nobody is teaching in the market you learn with me lwc just 12 right lwc migration what is lwc migration strategy when when should you choose lwc when should you choose lightning component right lwc migration strategy right next 13 lwc right debug debug tools what are the different debug tools i can use to debug an lwc right next 14 lwc out how can I take LWC to a Visual Force page? How can I call an LWC to a Lightning component? LWC out. Next, 15, LWC deployments. That includes Scratch Org. Scratch Orgs. What is a Scratch Org? What is CLI, Command Line Interface, SFDX, everything. You learn with me. This is what I'm just giving a synopsis. These topics are more in depth. You'll be covering with me in the next six to eight weeks. This is what you'll be covering with me. 
right this is what you'll get with me complete whatever the official sf right whatever the official official salesforce lightning web component development is as of today you will get 100 percent with me i will show you the official documentation we'll cover everything not a single concept will keep it untouched in lwc that's the reason i'm including just also other than this you will get zero one code book code book 40 plus examples solved solved examples solved examples with programming with real time dummy examples real time examples both plus my everything will be there 40 plus code books next interview questions Hundred and fifty plus interview questions will be there. Third, separate course material. It's not with a lightning. It will be LWC course material. You will get it. Plus, classroom recording. classroom recordings right projects there is nothing called lightning project lwc project or classic project there is no concept in salesforce it's called salesforce project salesforce project can be can be implemented using lightning using lwc using classic there is no such concept called as lightning project it is called salesforce project a salesforce project can be deployed using lightning can be deployed using classic can be deployed using lightning web component it's your wish most of the project that is coming up in salesforce now all the project that you see in the market that is coming up new projects every project is lightning and lwc project so that means if you are in my regular class right if you are in my regular class if you would have gone to the project sessions then right those projects you can develop using lightning or lwc so here i'm not giving any separate project whatever the project that i'm giving in the regular class you will deploy them with lightning now so here you're not getting any separate project because same project you can start building using lightning concepts right so right no separate project you'll get as a part of your regular class only take it do the same thing rather than doing in a visual force page now start creating lightning component for each one of the requirement you can do that right this is what we'll be covering in this one and a half months to two months one and a half months to two months tentative course syllabus or end date will be right will be right somewhere about april first week or second week tentative date april first week or second week it'll go just to keep everyone updated when are we are going to end six to eight weekends it'll take anybody has any questions before i proceed to the subject anybody has yes, any sir. doubts yes. questions yes, yes tell me yes Rubam, i have a small question sorry for disturb you that's okay uh, Go ahead. Uh, what is the debug uh, development tools here visual studio code only vs code uh, any only VS code. any, no, any, no, or any so stream no other that is only the tool which is ID tool. Salesforce once upon a time used to use Eclipse. It has yes. decommissioned Eclipse, right? In the year of 2018, October, it was decommissioned. And now the Salesforce ID tool is Visual Studio Code. Visual okay. Studio Code is the only place where you can create Lightning Web Component and we'll use that. 
next okay, um, if you have knowledge on source to you can you show me for the it, it will help for me please if you have any just i'm just it is a personal help or you, you will consider please. knowledge on what knowledge on what source tree, source tree how to set how to configure the salesforce to source tree there are multiple right tools available right yeah not only okay. one right but i will support yes. whatever is salesforce recommended yep okay Do you I... have a knowledge that's your wish that is your personal knowledge definitely you can put that you know dot net you know everything you know whole world that is something which nah, will help nah, you nah, in your nah. resume yep okay not not for a resume okay I'm currently working. I'm currently working. Okay, for now MNC. So my client is using. They will. Pre they are preferring the source tree. See, I cannot. I cannot go ahead and. It's not your. Ah yes. Okay. It's a general class. Ah okay. So I will not yeah, use source tree. I'm sorry. Yeah okay. Just if you have knowledge, okay. Just I will connect with you. For I'm unable to. I'm getting that errors. Okay. That is why I'm asking. Yeah okay. No problem. See, okay. I'm not here to. I'm not here to support your project. Yes, this is yes. not a project support okay. class, right? Please. Yep. Try to okay, understand. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Right, all the other you are working, other guys are not working. Your client might be using a source tree, right, as a tool. You are getting right a lot of errors. So please, we, yes, this is not okay, a no right project support class, right? Okay, if you want no a project problem. support class, please contact Capital Info. They have, they will support your project. They know they have team to help your project support classes. Okay. Right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Any other questions? Anyone? Anybody has any other questions? Uh, hi, Rupam. Yes, tell me. Rupam, just wanted to know that what is the difference lightning and LED? So, that, uh, we are, yeah, sorry. One minute, one minute, sir, please. One minute. What is the difference between Boeing 747 versus Airbus 320? Can you please tell me? Airbus what is, is the difference, comfort, difference between Airbus 320 and Boeing 737? You can tell a difference when you know the things. You cannot tell a difference when you don't know the things. We have not yet gone to LWC, so there is no meaning we discussing what is the difference between an LWC and a lightning component because we don't even know what is LWC. You don't know what is what is how the Boeing's both are plane, both are aeroplane only, both flies in the sky, both have a seater, but you don't know the technical differences between a Boeing 737 versus Airbus. So you cannot. Right. If I tell you what is the difference between a Maruti 800 and a Mercedes Benz, you'll be immediately able to call out a lot of differences because you know them. So currently this question is completely invalid where you don't know what is LWC. Once you know the LWC, then automatically you'll be able to understand what is the difference between LWC and when to choose LWC component, when to use lightning component, right? Yes. Right. Thank you. Next question. Uh, yes, tell me. Uh, actually, uh, the lightning is a uh, like third party component, right? But Lightning Correct. Web Component is a Salesforce company's no. uh, like... Lightning Web Component is not a Salesforce, right? It is a neutral. It is using Java and HTML. HTML has no copyright, right? Any, any, I mean, there is no proprietary. It's a open source. So do Aura as of today. But here we are using modern Java, which doesn't belong to Salesforce. We are using HTML, which doesn't belong to Salesforce. However, these technologies works everywhere, right? Okay. It's an open source, hundred percent. Completely third parties one, right? Correct. Aura okay. is a third party open source, but this is belongs to no party. That okay. is the reason Salesforce has come to no party, so that nobody can say this is mine, right? This is right. It's a complete hundred percent pure open source that doesn't belong to anyone. Okay. Right. Perfect. And one more thing, like I was in your lightning classes, uh, you have mentioned that you have uploaded the code book and the, the lightning 108 interview questions, but I mean, Correct. those were not in the folder. Robot. I told you that will be by next week. That means by this week, it will be there, didn't I? 
Okay, you told it would be before the next weekend, so I thought next it would weekend. be. Uh, weekend has not yet ended, madam. We still have okay. tomorrow weekend. Okay, okay. Right. Right. Next. Any other questions? Rupam. Yes. I'm not clear at lighting. Rupam, I need to practice that. Shall I attend for next batch? Completely your wish. Result. If you are if you are clear with the concepts, then yes, you can continue. Otherwise, you can look for the next batch. Right, completely okay. at you. Right? Okay, I will attend for next batch. That will be great. No issues at all. Okay. Okay, thank you. Right. Perfect. Next, anyone? Any other questions before we move? Anyone? Anybody, any other questions before I get to the subject for the next one hour? Anybody has any other questions? Perfect. Here, will you see only JavaScript is supported or Node.js and Angular also supported? Uh, only JavaScript, Angulars are supported up to certain extent, right? Mostly JavaScript. Okay, okay. Right? Perfect. Uh, Rupam, yes. will you be uh, just giving a little glance about the VS code because I mean, yeah, we will. Otherwise, uh, how the okay. class will start, madam? Come on. Yeah. Okay. You are new to that tool. So it's completely my, that is called the LWC infrastructure. So yeah, how, yeah. what is required, how it's set up, everything will cover. Today's infrastructure yeah. class, right? Perfect. Any other questions? Sure. Anyone? Anybody has any other questions before I proceed? Perfect. Now let's start the class. Before you start Lightning Web Component, we start programming. We try to understand what is this LWC, right? What is the purpose? When should I write an LWC? What is the main difference between an LWC and a Lightning Component? Right before we do all these things, before we start seeing LWC, first thing is that where an LWC can sustain, where an LWC can breathe and can live, where LWC will not die, right? We require an earth for living beings to be sustaining. Human beings and animal, right? Before you start studying on tiger, lion, human being, right? You have to see first their habitat where they live, they live in this earth. So we need to learn about the atmosphere first and then we start learning about their, the animals. So always, whenever you start understanding, we see the habitat first. So here we are going to look on the habitat where this LWC component will su su survive, where I can edit, where, where I can write, where I can, you know, this LWC component can be created. LWC component, cannot be created within the lighting within the lightning or within the salesforce environment so you don't need to log into salesforce you don't need to go to developer console you need a tool and the tool name is ide integrated development environment salesforce is supporting microsoft visual studio code as an ide to create lightning web component this is the recognized tool Salesforce recommended recognized tool, right? I go to Salesforce and I type S A L E S F O R C Force I D E. I'm just typing I D E. Salesforce I D E. There are a lot of IDs are available, right? However, whenever you go for a developer force or Salesforce I D E, right? It is the VS Studio Code. See, Salesforce extension. This is the tool which is supported, recognized by salesforce right earlier it used to be eclipse three years back we used to use a tool called as eclipse now we are not using eclipse for example let me show you okay salesforce s-a-l-e-s f-o-r-c force e-x eclipse 
eclipse right salesforce eclipse let me go ahead. why i'm going to the forum i shouldn't be going to the forum let me go ahead right salesforce eclipse i don't know let me see let's see salesforce eclipse was decommissioned in the year right see salesforce eclipse was decommissioned once upon a time this eclipse used to be the environment eclipse is an integrated development environment it used to be in the salesforce right now this environment is no more available right salesforce is not supporting eclipse salesforce eclipse support if i say right so let me check it out it'll be there somewhere if you search you'll be able to see that salesforce is no more supporting eclipse see force.com id retired force.com id is no more available switch to visual studio code october 12 2019 right force.com id is no longer available you cannot use eclipse we recommend you to migrate to salesforce extension for visual studio code right this is the future right future of salesforce id if you want you can do a research it is microsoft visual studio code is what salesforce is now recommending and this is the tool that we'll be using for your lwc right so those who want to do some research on the previous tool they can do it but force.com id has retired eclipse is retired we are using visual studio code here it is now how to install a visual studio code first step go to google type salesforce sfdx press enter go to the first link salesforce cli salesforce cli click on it first step download whichever version of operating system you are using i would not be able to support anyone with mac operating system or with the linux operating system download windows 64 bit edition click on download a small piece of software will be downloaded in your local machine right a small piece of software will be downloaded in your local machine double click on the software step one download sfdx cli after you download double click to install it which i'm not going to do because it's already done in my system right just follow the instruction click next 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 and it will install sfdx cli in your system rupam what is this it is because we will not open salesforce we need to interact with the salesforce server force.com platform the tool that we'll be using is a microsoft tool how a microsoft tool will connect to salesforce through this cli the tool will execute certain commands and based on the commands right salesforce server would be responding and for that we need the cli otherwise the visual studio will be completely waste you cannot do anything from the visual studio code if you don't have cli right it is working as an integrator it is working as an adapter it is working as a plugin right it is joining the two ends salesforce to microsoft tool who sfdx cli once it is done click on start type cmd command go to the command prompt right before you install sales before you install microsoft visual studio code make sure that your plugin your integrator your adapter is working fine type sfdx press enter just type sfdx press enter you'd be able to see the version right now looks like that my version is outdated i have 1.25 whereas the latest version is 1.33 if you see the version difference the way you can see on the screen there's a version difference update available it will show you in that case go ahead and update it how to update how to update right just go ahead and type s sfdx update sfdx update sfdx update press enter 
SFDX update. Now it is updating from 1.25 to 7.138. If you don't see a version difference, relax. You don't need to run this command. The command is F SFDX space update. Now this is going to take time. You can see that 139 MB. It has to download. It has to download 139 MB and then it has to install, which is, I believe it will take another 15, 20 minutes. Definitely we can't wait till that time, right? Remember that in LWC, 30% of your class will go only in waiting. 30% of your class will be silent because I'll be waiting for the command to respond because we will be using a third party tool called Microsoft Visual Studio Code to interact with Salesforce. The third party tool will run some command. That command will get executed. Salesforce server will receive the command. It will execute. Force.com platform will respond back. Visual Studio Code will receive and then it will display the result. And this process will take little time. One minute, 30 seconds. If you take the overall class for LWC, you need to have a patience in my class. Not only in my class, when you are doing a programming, there also you need a patience. Right? There also we are, right? We have to use a patience. See? Now, if I leave it, whole one hour it will take for me to download, even though my speed is awesome. Great speed. But here the speed is not making any difference. It is downloading and it's installing. Both it's doing parallelly. That is the reason it's taking time. Perfect. So let it go ahead and download. Because it's long that for three months I have not yet updated my SFDX, so it's getting updated. Right? You will wait for this command to run completely. Right? Once your update is done, right? Next step go to Google, type Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Microsoft Visual Studio Code, type a keyword. Go to the first website code.visualstudio.com. Here you have download version. Anybody with a Mac operating system, God can help you. Please praise the God to help you. Anybody with a Linux operating system using Visual Studio Code, please pray God. I will not be able to help you. Windows 64 bit, download it. Stable, download the stable version. Immediately, right, one download will start. 77 MB. So there we go. It's downloading. Once it's download, double click to install this. Double click to install this. Once you download. So I'm downloading it. Even though it's in my system, it's already installed. So there we go. 73.7 MB is done. Download it. You can double click on it. Click next, 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 next. Just follow the wizard. Install it. Install, install it only after your SFDX CLI is completely updated and available. Completely updated and available. Right? Do not install Visual Studio first. First is your SFDX, then Visual Studio. Remember this. Otherwise, you might get errors. So there's a particular procedure you have to follow. Once your Visual Studio is done, now create a folder. Create a folder somewhere, wherever you want to save the project. For example, I am going to SFDC. I am creating a new folder, or we have it already. LT123. LT123. Inside that, I am creating a folder. A new folder name is LWC project. LWC project. Press enter. Keep it ready. Wherever you want to create a folder. So under LT123, I've created a folder called as LWC project. Now click on start. Type Visual Studio Code. You'll be able to see this icon after installation. Click on the Visual Studio Code. Your Visual Studio Code application will open now. Right? Have patience. 
it takes time have completely have patience so this is how it's opening wait let me close the things first here before because this is the last batch programming we have all the lwc component so let me close the folder close folder what i said close folder or visual studio code okay let me open it once again file close not editor i have close editor close folder there we go save maybe i might not have saved something right this is the first look of visual studio code you will be able to see as soon as you open you'll be able to see the tool will look like this microsoft visual studio code you'll keep on getting a lot of things github right java extension install get it keep ignoring this all keep ignoring this all now click on marketplace or extension here this icon where i'm placing my mouse here click on it click on marketplace right wait system is now trying to retrieve all the extensions that is required for the visual studio to work so relax wait you need to have a patience meantime let us see what's happening here in our space right only 21.6 mb downloaded out of 139 okay cool let it do its work right we are still waiting for the extension to retrieve the information right if it's taking too much time which usually takes many a time type salesforce rather than it searching everything immediately type salesforce there's a lot of salesforce plugins extensions are available don't download anything don't download this lightning web component snips snip right snip, snippets don't download that go to the only one called as salesforce extension pack not even this one expanded no only this one salesforce extended extension pack click on it right click on install in my system it's already installed here you will be able to see install button click on install click on install click on install right this will install the salesforce ex extension pack inside that you are getting apex you are getting the debugger you are getting aura component you are getting visual force you are getting you know interactive debugger right you are getting lightning web component you are getting sql extension you are get, getting slds validator lightning design system validator all these are included in this pack called as which is already installed in my system i can uninstall it but you know i don't want to do that because again it will take time so i can update see my version is old i can go ahead and i can update but again if i click on update then it will take time let's last update it 216 right 216 but still now it's 219 right so you can see that the release date 2017 it released extension packs were released right perfect click on install everyone clear once you click on install you see that this all got installed installed in it says, it says installed here it will say the place where i have update to 54 there it will say installed 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 all this update to 54.0 will show installed 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 when you see installed click on the first icon here project explorer or explorer yeah project explorer right project explorer you are in the project explorer window it is still installing 22 mb you can understand that it will take whole one hour 
my updates from 1.2 to 1.3 1 1.25 to 1.38 now click on file click on open folder click on open folder right go to the folder that you created if you remember that under sfdc under lt123 i created lt123 here it is inside this i created lwc project so i open this folder i click on select folder right next on the keyboard wait till the time the system responds there you go it will say do you want to trust do you trust this folder trust all the authors check this and click on yes i trust the folder the author of the folder you have to build the trust yes done keep ignoring whatever that comes to the right side bottom keep ignoring we don't care control shift p on the keyboard click on control shift p on the keyboard once again control button shift button P, P as in police, P as in Peter. Control Shift P, P as in print. Select the first one called SFDX Create Project. Relax, wait for two seconds. Select SFDX Create Project. Relax and wait for two seconds. It's more than that, so have patience. don't worry this is not dependent on your system processor ram i have 16 gb ram i'm using an i7 processor right and my hard drive is ssd hard drive solid state so i have the highest configuration right 2.4 gigahertz i7 processor so almost the highest configuration i have with 16 gb ram but still it's slow so relax right there is no other option other than relaxing yes Doctor, yes uh, for this we have to install a java before installing this one not required actually right jdk java development kit but if you install that will be great which version we have to use use the latest version as simple as that Come on. Uh, but 11.9 it was not supporting for a visual studio right it, it was getting the java better to install then, java 8 is supporting go with java 8 or java 9 also is there if i'm not wrong you can support that also okay by the way it will go away here we go have a look here standard empty analytics choose standard project don't take empty to standard what is the name of the project lt123 lwc my project name is lt123 lwc press enter which folder under the lt123 lwc folder create project there we go a create project command has been running which ran wait relax still it's not done wait it's doing a lot of things let's wait right close it wait till when you have to wait here in the blue bar where you see zero zero there you will be able to see no vs code org no vs code org right it will run it will take time here you'll see initializing visual studio code right indexing lwc where in this blue long bar that you're able to see here you'll be able to see you have to wait there is no other option rupam how do you know how much i have to wait whenever you say con control shift p you are not getting any command i'm not getting any command I should get all SFDX command. SFDX. See, now I got it. Right? But 
right? You, till the time you get this, right? Till the time either you get this or this, it'll take little time. Now, what I'm going to do, this project, I want to connect to my organization. It's coming, activating extension. Then it'll say, right here, it'll say that, right? See, indexing lightning component, as I told you, wait. Then see, no default org set. Here, no VS code org. See, till the time this all happens, please wait. It's indexing your lightning web component, right? Perfect, now it is the right time. No default org set till the time you get this. Then use Control Shift P. First, go ahead and authorize an org. But before you add, okay, let's go ahead. We'll see that later. Authorize an org. In real time, you will select this sandbox test.salesforce.com. You will not connect to the production directly. You will connect to the sandbox. As of now, we will go with the production because all the environment that we have is a production environment. I say production. Let it be VS Code org, press enter. Wait. It will open your default browser. It will open your default browser. So the command is running. Visual Force Studio is executing an SFDX command. This command is contacting force.com platform, right? Force.com platform will now respond, right? And this will open an Chrome or an Inter Explorer. So I'm waiting for it. So I'm waiting for it. Chrome or an Inter Explorer. I'm waiting for it. Right, see, I told you, you know, 30% of the class will go for waiting. Right. Till the time it runs and till the time. Oh, there we go. And Internet Explorer popped up suddenly. From the sky. So let it come. Other than waiting, you don't have any other option. There we go. Now log into your Salesforce. So it's I log in. Rupam. At the rate, it's so slow. Rupam, at the rate, lt123.com, password CRM1234 hash. Login. It might ask me for a verification code. If it does so, then I have to write, yep, a verification code has been sent. So let me go back here. And I let me log into my Gmail. Gmail. Here we go, the verification code. Control C. I come here, I paste it, I say verify. Now it'll write. It might ask me for a permission for the first time for the org. So wait, right? It will ask for a permission, so wait. Here we go. Click on allow access. It's a one time only. Right now it will log into your win log into your Salesforce there and I'm waiting for this response to be received back by the Visual Studio code here. I will get success. It is still running running authorize an arc. I'm waiting for it to say success. You see that successfully 
authorized rupam at the rate lt123 something came with an id and everything and then this command will go away see authorization authorize an org successfully ran now i can close this i don't need that here we go my visual studio code is ready now here you will be able to see visual studio code org if you want to be re-sure, if you want to be reconfirming whether Rupam everything is fine or not before I start writing a programming, can I can I do some checks? Yes, sir. Control Shift P. Click on Control Shift P. Click on Open Default Org. See without asking a password whether the system is logging to your environment or not. If yes, then you are connected to Force.com platform. Wait, it will pop up. Without asking me username and password, it should be able to log in. That means my credentials are stored. All my credentials are stored in my local machine now. Do not ask me a username and password again. It should directly log into my environment. That means my Visual Studio code is now well connected. See, it came to my environment directly without asking a username and password. By this, I can say that my environment is fully ready. This is your tool from where you will be doing the programming going forward. This is a Microsoft tool, right? This tool is now connected to my Salesforce. Am I ready to do the programming? Yes, sir, you are. See, as I started using it, it got aborted. I know that. It didn't update it, guys, because I started using it. The SFDX commands are now being called. They are getting executed. Already one command is running called SFDX update. Above that, I went ahead and run an authorization command. I went ahead and run a project command. On that, I went ahead and ran a default open org command. So at a time, only one command can run. Then my SFDX command got terminated. The previous command got terminated and the next command got executed. So my version didn't got updated. I'll, I'll run it later, not now it because we can't wait anybody has any question till here everybody clear what to do tomorrow's class you need to get this all ready tomorrow's class you need to get all this ready how to create a lightning web component control shift you have an option called as create a lightning web component you see create a lightning web component i select it what is the name of the component everything in small letter you will not give anything in caps why as we go inside i'll explain lwc underscore 1902 underscore example one underscore my first lw you see components name of the component is my first lwc component i press enter i press enter wait here we go your lwc component got created your lwc component got created right now let us understand this completely lwc component got created What is this LWC framework? LWC F R A M E W O R K. Lightning Web Component Framework consists of two things: HTML number two and number two. Number two, Java, M O D E R, and modern Java. Modern JavaScript. What is a modern JavaScript? Let's understand, right? For that, let me walk you through a presentation first so that you'll understand what is what it is. LWC, 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 LWC. Here we go. 
all LWCs. Now, there are certain standards in the web. The way, you know, in your right day-to-day -day life, you see that all the food, any food grade, you take a Maggie, you take, you know, a Kisan tomato ketchup, you go ahead and you buy a juice reel, you go ahead and buy a biscuit packet, good day, cashew nut. Towards, right, inside, uh, in the outer cover, you'll be able to see FASSI, right? Do you observe that? Most of you might have seen, right? FASSI, FASSI. This, this symbol will be there, right? FSS, oh, sorry, <laughs> FSSAI, right? This symbol will be there. This symbol, images. This symbol will be there. Government of India, Food Standard, Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. A standard has to be maintained. You cannot go ahead, all the consumable product in the market, whichever is food, it has to have an FSS, FSSAI recognition. Every packet that you take, turn and see, you'll be able to see this pack. FSSAI. It is must. Food Standard Safety and Standard Authority of India. This is the authority. This is the government department which is controlling the licenses as well as the food safety, the quality of the food. They are the people who randomly picks up the product from the market. They perform tests and they realize that the content of gluten is more in Maggie and hence Right, the Nestle India Maggie has to pull all the Maggie stock out of the market and it was banned. Maggie was not available till the time the next test proved that the natural gluten is less than certain standard limits. So this is the authority which keeps taking it. Whenever you buy an electronic product in India, you see this one, ISI. ISI, right? I'm talking about this ISI, okay? Not the terrorist organization ISI. ISI mark. All the electronic products in India will have this type of marks. ISI, ISI. What is that? It is again, right? It is again the Indian Standard Institute, right? Where they go ahead and they give a mark. All your electricals, electronic products will have this type of logo. Similarly, Whenever you buy a ghee, a dairy product, you will have this mark called egg mark. Government of India, egg mark. All dairy products, butter, ghee, anything from the animals, any animal related product output from an animal will have egg mark. A G M A R K, egg mark. Along with F F S S A I, along with that, all the animal related product will have these type of marks. Now, Rupam, why I'm teaching you this in LWC class? These are something general knowledge of life, which I'm teaching in LWC class. There is a reason. The way everything has a standard in this world. In simple word, I'm going to a standardization where companies say I am ISO 9001 certification. Company says that, you know, we are ISO 900 certified company, right? See, everywhere there's a quality mark, everywhere there's a benchmark, companies are measured, right, with this ISO standard. International Organization for Standard, Standardization, ISO, right? You might have heard about CMM levels, CMM levels. See, I am a, it is a CMM level five company. It's a CMM level two company. You measure, right with a standard now let's come to the technology who is measuring the standard of a technologies you have a lot of usb devices coming up right a lot of different ports are coming up your keyboards are standard keyboard if you have observed or not q w e r t y quality keyboard in a keyboard every keyboard you take in this world will have the same format Q W E R T Y U I O P. Why not A B C D E F G H? Nobody's 
creating a keyboard with ABCD EFGH. Why? Because ASCII, AS, you might have heard about ASCII, right? There are ASCII codes, right? Standard, see, these are all standards. The Advertising Standard Council of India, they say, right? So these are, um, just a minute here. Right. ASCII key. So there is a standard here. Same way there is something called as right. Let me go ahead. Right. ECMA. 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 I type. This is a company. ECMA is a company which maintains standards of web technologies. Whether you create a web page, right? Whether you create anything, anything web based, it has to be as per this ECMA. It's a standardization organization which defines web standard. European, European Computer Manufacturers Association, ECMA. ECMA. This is, right? This company or this organization is, implies, this company implies all standard for web technologies. Anything with web technologies, right? Wherever you have any web technology, we go by ECMA, right? The way I told you ASCII, A-S-C-I-I, -I, right? Here, this ECMA 35, ECMA 6, see? Latest is ECMA 6, actually not. The latest is ECMA 7. LWC, is an ECMA 7 compatible. ECMA 7 compatible. ECMA has recommended lot of standards that point number one, point number two, point number three, point number four, point number five. Whichever technology is satisfying all the points, we call them as ECMA 7. Certain points, ECMA 6. Lightning Aura is ECMA 5. You can see that Aura is ECMA 5, whereas LWC is ECMA 7. That means your LWC is much superior, much standard, much qualitative than your Aura components. Right? How do you say LWC is the best? Because we will go with the ECMA standards. ECMA standard. Aura programming model. Lightning Web Component Programming Model. In our programming model, right, you have component, you have re-render, you have modules, you have events, the bundle elements, you have seen that. You have Lightning Data Service, right? You have Base Lightning Component, right? But whereas in ECMS 7, you have only four, four elements. Every ECMA 7 standard web component should have four elements, right? Every ECMA 7 compatible web component should have four elements. Number one, custom element. Number two, shadow DOM. Number three, HTML. Number four, ES module. Once again, I'm repeating the statement. Any web application, any web page, any web technology, any web component, anything related to the web. If you say it's ECMS 7 standard, then you should have four elements. Number one, custom element. Number two, shadow DOM. Number three, HTML. Number four, ES module. What is ECMS 7? It's a standard. It's a web standard, web, web, web technology standard. In this latest standard, right, you should have four modules or four elements, right? And Lightning Web Component is satisfying all the four modules of your ECMS 7. Hence, Lightning Web Component is ECMS 7 compatible, whereas Aura, 
or your lightning programming model is ECMF 5 compatible. Remember this very well. ECF 5 compatible. What does the ECS 7 compatible says? Right? Let's understand. Right? So ECMS 7, 7 says custom elements. Custom elements. Now let me go ahead and put in the documentation. LWC framework consists of this lightning web html and modern java lwc component is ecma7 compatible lwc is ecma7 ecma7 compatible whenever i say ecma7 compatible there are four things number one custom elements custom custom e e l e m e n t number two shadow dom shadow tom see i'm taking from here they'll ask you this number three html template html html template number four es module es module in interview they will ask you this this all right now Lightning component, does it support this all? Yes. What is Shadow DOM? What is ES module? Custom elements. What is the custom elements? Elements, E L E M E A, element, elements specific to vendor, vendor technology. Salesforce is a company, it has its own development. It has it has its own development team. Yep. It has its own development team. They are building this all technologies. Salesforce is building Apex. Microsoft is building dotnet. If everybody start building their own, you know, technologies, then this world will be full of technologies and nobody knows which technology to use. Somebody will say dotnet is good. Somebody will say no, 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 Apex is good. And it's in between somebody will raise say Python is good, man. Come on. Dotnet is a different programming. C is a different programming. How many programming languages and how this programming languages will work with each other? That is the reason ECMS came up with a standardization. That whichever program, we are not stopping you to develop a programming language, but make sure that these programming language doesn't hinder the future. Technology should be seamless, easy. You shouldn't make the technology difficult, right? As, a, as an IT expert, I cannot learn all the technologies. Then if a half component is created in dotnet another component is created in apex how they will communicate through integration again Right there. I need an intermediate technology All these are being defined in ECMS 7 ECMS 7 standard ECMS 7 standard says that whichever web component technology right I'm going and specifying on web component keyword Lightning web component. What is a web component? If somebody asks you, web component is a technology. It's a technology based on a framework. What is the technology talks about? This technology talks about custom element. Number one, what is this? Right, vendor specific technology. You cannot stop the vendor to create their own innovation. If they do that innovation, you cannot say that, hey, we will not support that innovation. So you have to Microsoft is building their own technology. You need to support that Salesforce is building own technology. You need to support that and this is supported here under the custom element. For example, I'm using lightning card. Example. Example. L I G H T N N G lightning card. Do you find this in dotnet Python? No, this is specific to Salesforce which is built and created by Salesforce lightning card, right? Lightning button, lightning button, button. All these are vendor specific technology. Whenever you put a card automatically header footer body comes in system understands. So these are vendor specific element. We call them as custom element. Shadow DOM. These are these are common elements. 
common elements common elements not salesforce built these are common elements right example example right events as you go inside you'll be able to understand when somebody clicks a mouse when somebody clicks a mouse i need to know the mouse was clicked shadow dom will tell you mouse was clicked shadow dom will tell you hey the mouse was pressed down it's still pressed the user has not released the mouse he's still pressing and holding it he's still pressing and holding it he's still pressing and holding it right these will be given to you by shadow dom shadow dom is nothing but common elements which are nothing but java elements html elements in other word these are java j a v a java elements html elements which not a dot net html elements for example input button there it's lightning input here i'm saying input these are shadow doms common element which nobody has copyright custom elements if you go to the salesforce lightning card is a proprietary command it is an authorized command for only salesforce you cannot run this command in dotnet environment you cannot run this command in a python environment you cannot run this command on a perl environment you cannot run this command on a ruby on rails environment right it will not work because this is a custom element belongs to salesforce same way neutral element ecms 7 says that at least 80 percent of your element should be shadow dom 80 percent should be shadow dom 20 percent should be your custom element so reduce 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 custom elements because these are specific to take to a vendor right otherwise we had have used aura only no aura is also a good what is the aura made a mistake because if you use aura then you are more on custom but here you see we are more on shadow dom we will will try avoid using lightning elements here we'll try using shadow dom next where will you use it this is the place where you design designing designing this is the place where you design the form design page pag design page for designing which language we are using html you are learning a web designing with me now to be open and frank lwc is a web designing with html as simple as that right all your designing rupam where will you write the logic all the logics will write here in es module es module this is javascript J -V java s-c-r-i-p-t this is javascript so you design the page in html you design the page in html and you write all your programming in javascript and that is called as here es module es module is logic logic programming logics pro logics i'll just say logic this is design programming here also you're doing programming but whatever programming html programming what is that for designing here also you're doing programming what programming javascript for writing what for logics multiplication addition we will do in es module these are what what is the ecma lwc7 talks about you don't need to write or take notes in lwc class i will hardly give you notes all these things will be there in your documentations we will not waste the time in doc giving a notes dictating notes in my class right the way in apex i'm dictating notes you're writing in lightning right i dictated notes at certain places and you were writing but in this class no notes i will not declare any notes only working because we want 99.99 percent .99 effective class only programming live examples live programming all notes please refer to the course material 
all these are there in the course material all these are there in the course material right all these are there in the course material now this is ecms7 now let us come right lwc component lightning web component l w component lightning web component structure what is the structure of it number one number one template t m p l a t template template what is the structure name right here we go name dot html here it is template on the screen name dot html i know that you guys are able to understand only 50 50 percent that's okay you're in the right track html what is this is done this is to use to design design that is nothing but your under ecms7 html is in the template see are we implementing rupam can you show me where are we implementing all this for remember that our aim is to implement all this for because this is what is recommended by ecms7 show me where it is implemented first template designing here it is here we'll do only html programming plus here in this designing i can use custom element i can use shadow rom one two can be used inside three one two can be used inside three one and two one and two from ec ecma is used here in this designing custom element shadow rom we use it in html three that is nothing but template here it is that's the reason dot html next zero two zero two next zero two right es module right es module this one here it is called controller controller what is the name right name dot js I gave a name LWC 1902 example one name.js when you click on it this is the place where you do the programming you'll understand tomorrow everything today is the basic class so it is name dot js what is this is used this is your actually es module see es module this is used to write logics 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 this is nothing but also known as es module nothing but four point number four point number four fourth point fourth point from ecma fourth from ecma here is the ecma fourth is es module and that is controller here next next interface interface here it is called name name dot right here is interface what is extension js hyphen meta dot xml name dot js hyphen meta meta dot xml xml this is the extension here what you do here we define the location location of lwc usage example where do you want eg example where i want in record page record i want in tab page I want this LWC to be a to create a tab, record page, tab page, etc. The last one, CSS style, which is not there. You have to create it. Name dot 
CSS. What do you use it? I use it for style. Style. Extra. This has not been defined as a part of ECMS 7. That is the reason when you create an LWC component, this is not available. You see, only three is there. One, two, three. There is no style. Fourth one is not there. You have to create it. How to create, I will show you later. So this is not a part of ECMA, hence it is not visible here. But yes, every component should use colors and everything. That's their structure. So, right? This is the component structure. How does it differs from the lightning rupam? Can you explain me? How does it differs from the lightning? Right? Let me write down LWC versus LIGHT and ING. That's the reason when somebody asked me a question, hey Rupam, can you tell me the difference between a Lightning and an LWC? I immediately told, can you tell me the difference between a Boeing 737 versus Airbus 320? Because you don't know. If I'd have told you all these things, hey, then you'd have not been able to understand at that time because I didn't spoke about ES7 module. What is EF7? What is now see LWC consists of template controller interface style. But whereas now let us see the structural difference. LWC versus lightning structural difference. What is the difference? Number one, right? I'll write LWC because that is superior. Template. Template. There it is called components. Here, controller. C O N T R O L L E R, controller. Controller. There it is controller, helper, re renderer. Next, right, style, style. Here, style. In lightning component is also style. Here, not available. What? SVG. Design. Documentation. You remember, I left this all in the lightning classes. I didn't even touch those in the lightning classes. Why? Because we don't use them. And that is the reason Salesforce has decommissioned or has completely removed SVG design and documentation right in LWC. In LWC, there is nothing called SVG, nothing called design, nothing called documentation. That was the reason that I left it blank there. I didn't even come to SVG. I didn't do a single bit of programming. I didn't even touch the design. I came to the documentation. I showed you something and I came back. Because they are not used. They are not available. Why they are still there in the Salesforce? I told you in the Lightning class. When 2015, when Lightning was launched, that time there was no Lightning design system. So that time to put a design, we used to design, we had to build the design in the component itself, we used to build the design. That is the reason SVG and design was there. Now we have a Lightning design system, LDS available. Hence, SVG and designs are decommissioned. There we go. And it is not available in Lightning. This is Lightning. This is LWC and this piece is lightning. In lightning, you have eight component structure component, controller, helper, re render, style, SVG, design, documentation. Now you see the time matching. The structure is here. Here, right, not available. Here, interface, separately available. In lightning, it's not there not there not available why no available not available in lightning these are not available not available it's a part of of component itself what is that interface record page tab page home page that you check those boxes if you remember while creating a lightning component, you check the boxes and then implements. 
right available for record page available for home page available for tab page that's separate that is available within the component but here in lwc it is available separately outside this is the difference between an lwc component structure versus a lightning component structure lwc component structure and a lightning component structure the difference LWC component structure and a lightning component structure. Guys, able to understand yes or no 50%. I'm not looking for a 100% understanding today. Yes or no? Yes, okay, I understood. 50% others, yes. right? LWC is completely based on ECMS 7 which is the latest standard in the web technology. ECMS 7 talks about four implementation, custom element, shadow ROM, HTML, ES module. And that's exactly what we are trying to implement with LWC. That's exactly what we are trying to implement with LWC. One and two of ECMA is implemented with template. Four of ECMA is implemented with this, right? Third template, it's already one, it's already three. Third says HTML. Yes, everything has to be HTML. Yes, see, name.html. So in lighting, it's not aura, dot aura, it's dot HTML. Right. Others, I heard only two or two voice. Others able to understand 50%. But it's a... yes. Yes, yes. yes perfect we will this we'll stop here today tomorrow your class is at 9 30 a.m we will start creating your lwc components tomorrow i will start your lwc data types how to declare a data how to display data how to go ahead with the play data with the controllers right tomorrow we will see this each lwc class is important you bunk one class leave the course you bunk one class, leave the course immediately. The next class onwards, it'll all bounce. Remember that here there is no theoretical going forward, only practical. I will tell you, listen, that's it. All writing works not there in the class. You will do it. it all the definitions are available in your notes, in your course material that you're going to get it. Right? So please make sure that, right? First of all, whatever I will teach out of that, you will be able to understand only 80%, 20% will bounce. On that, if you don't do practice, you don't repeat the exercise the same week, then your bounce percentage will increase to another 20. That means 60%. On that, if you bunk classes, it will be 40%, another 20. With a 40% knowledge of LWC, you cannot do anything. So, summary is that you have to be regular. Make sure that you do your homeworks properly. At least repeat the exercise that I'm doing. Right? Have doubts, come back. Right? That is how you'll be able to learn LWC with me. Believe me, I will go in depth in the LWC. Nobody in this world I can say covering such depth of LWC that I'll be taking you in. Right? So get ready to dive in a deep water right that's it for today tomorrow your class is at 9 30 a.m 9 30 not at 8 30 9 30 a.m saturday 8 30 sunday 9 30 saturday 8 30 sunday 9 30 no confusion clear cut statement thank you guys have a nice and wonderful day bye bye guys take care